Should you marry your current girlfriend or move on in hopes of finding someone better? It turns out statistics can help you make this decision and actually increase your chances of picking the best possible spouse. Assume you only date one person at a time. And once you pass on a potential partner, there's no going back. Let's say you start when you're 20 and want to have the matter settled by the time you turn 40. You can date two people a year, so you have 40 potential mates to choose from. Statistics shows that some strategies are better than others. Marry the person you're dating when you turn 30. Your chances of marrying the best possible person is 1 out of 40, or 2.5%. You definitely can do better than that. Don't marry your first girlfriend, but marry the next girl that you date that's better than them. This strategy improves your chances of marrying the best person to 11%. Date and rate the first 15 girls, or until you're 27 and a half years old. Then marry the next girl that is better than any of the first 15. This increases your chances of marrying the best person to 38%. The solution comes from the famous secretary problem that shows you should reject the first n divided by e candidates, where n in this case is equal to 40, and e is the mathematical constant 2.718. But beware, though your chances of settling for a spouse are drastically lower with a statistical approach, it also increases your chances of ending up 40 years old and alone.